it back. Wennington passes to Harper. Knocked away. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will close to picking that pass off, guys. At least he got a hand on it. He did what he needed to do to make sure it didn't hit the target. Offensive rebound. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Well, probably the right play defensively. If you can't get the block, send them to the free throw line. Don't give them an easy two. No easy buckets inside. Force free throws and work to keep them out of the lane next time around. Here's Dinwiddie. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And a different look here for the Pistons. Drummond's checked in for Anthony. Tolliver comes in for Sean Williams. Karan Butler is checked in for Tayshawn Prince. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Jody Meeks. Kuko, she's checked in for Chicago. Kerr comes in for Harper. Pass to Kerr. Fires from deep. And he gets it to go. Kerr's got his first three points of the game. Here's Dinwiddie, defended by Kerr. And here is Drummond. Shot clock at six. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Heard the whistle and still kept his focus, able to knock that down. And that is not easy, Steve. I mean, to take the bump, to maintain control of your body, and put it in the hole, tremendous play. Chicago making a switch here. Simpkins checked in. And these two teams continuing to trade blows like heavyweights in the middle of the ring. So many times tonight, the energy in this building has gone from one way to the other. Here's Dinwiddie. He's got seven. Pippen with the steal. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. You guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen from Chicago? Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for him early on. And the other thing we're seeing is great ball movement. We're seeing a lot of good offensive execution, ball movement, player movement, setting up assists. Looking at the game Pippen has been having, he already has nine points, and he has one steal to his credit as well. But he's done a, a better job than the numbers indicate, really. I think he's been really sound defensively, and he's helped his club. Steve, they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass today. Yeah, that's impressive, too. Clark's already gotten them a plus-five margin in the rebound column. Caldwell Pope kicks to Buck. Kukoc with the defensive effort. It's Pippen with the drive. He shoots again. The shot no good. And Detroit the other way now. Feeds to Caldwell Pope. Pass to Dinwiddie. For three. The rebound by Simpkins. He slipped into quite a funk here, Clark. I think that's a good word to describe it. I mean, the basket is looking awfully small to him at the moment. He took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They gotta find something, you're right. Here's Dinwiddie. Soft touch off the glass. Dinwiddie's got nine. Chicago leading by four. Pippen for three. Wennington. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. You know, they've been doing an excellent job, Kevin, on the offensive boards here, keeping the ball alive and then converting those second chances when they get it. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Dinwiddie passes to Drummond. Here's Dinwiddie. Back to Drummond. 
and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the officials. And both free throws good for Drummond. Nine seconds left in the first. Out to the wing. Bushler. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Bulls have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's Tolliver. That misses. Would have counted had it gone in. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. Guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? Man, it's really been a dominant effort on the glass. That's been the key here. Yeah, they've established nice low post presence, which always tends to help you on the rebounding battles. We've got Caldwell Pope. Anthony Tolliver out there with Karan Butler. And there's Jackson. And it's Drummond in at the five down low. That's the five on the four for the Pistons. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Kevin, no doubting Andre Drummond, an emerging star at the center position. As new coach Stan Van Gundy put it, I think we have two responsibilities to Andre Drummond that will help our team. Number one, do everything we possibly can to develop him as a player, and secondly, to put a system and personnel around him that will allow him to thrive. Kevin? Doris, it sounds like he'll play a pivotal role. Thank you. Yeah, Van Gundy perhaps envisioning him as Dwight Howard 2.0 in the middle. We'll see if, in fact, Drummond can live up to that. Four on the clock. Boy, nice work inside. Tough to get that shot over a big defender like that. Oh, that takes skill and creativity, Steve, uh, particularly on the release to make sure he doesn't get a hand on it. They've been the glass eaters today, guys. A ton of effort out of them down low. And they've needed every one of those rebounds. I think that's what's put them in front here. Butler kicks to Tolliver. He dishes it to Drummond. Outside Jackson. Drummond sets the screen for Jackson. Oh, and there's the alley oop. The drive by Jordan. Passes it to Bushler. Here's Harper. Off target with his three. Pistons trail by eight. Jackson with it. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Longley. Beautiful dish. And the layup goes down. And the Bulls lead by eight. What a floor leader he's been at the offensive end. You know, he's done a terrific job of moving the ball around, sharing it, dispersing it, and running the show. Here's Jordan. Tries again. And it's good on the way in. Bushler's got five points now this quarter. They have to box out better than that. I mean, that putback is just another example of the difference between these two teams today. Here's Drummond. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Now that's finishing your work right there. Powerful two-hand, Jim. You're right. Uh, if he's got a few more of those in him, uh, this lead will really start shrinking. The drive by Jordan. And he gets it to go. Jordan's got 13. Boy, they look helpless defensively. Drummond dishes to Jackson. And the layup's good off the glass. 
The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. No, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. Butler with the ball. Guarded now by Dennis Rodman. Taken away. Here's Bushel. He's got seven. Harper the pass to Rodman. And Jackson with the block. He kicks to Caldwell Pope. Takes the three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Rodman's got his sixth rebound on the night. He's given them little to nothing at the offensive end. I can't put it any other way. Dishes it to Caldwell Pope. Kicks to Jackson. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Deep two from Tolliver. Rodman grabs the miss. Rodman's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. The drive by Jordan. And no good trying to use the glass. Even though he isn't having the best of game from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. Jackson kicks to Tolliver. Back to Jackson. Down to five on the shot clock. And it will go, and the Bulls lead is cut to just five points on the basket from Tolliver. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. The drive by Jordan. The pass to Bushler. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Bushler's got ten. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was a real struggle, but he's got it going now. Jackson kicks to Tolliver. Jackson, a screen on run to the inside. And here we go, the Bulls fast break. Harper the pass to Bushler. That three off the mark. Well, that defense went from poor to no defense at all. Well, you don't see him miss that shot very often. When he's open like that, it's usually lights out. And there's the feed to Drummond. Back to Jackson. It's stolen by Rodman. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. And that'll be his third foul so far. Both teams deciding to change it up. The dish to Meeks. Takes a three. And that is good. A wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. Pippen kicks to Kerr. And Steve Kerr, true from outside. This is great. Three pointers going down quickly at both ends. Yeah, it took them no time to answer back on that possession. Outside Williams. They set the pick. Pass to Dinwiddie. Goes up the baseline. Stayed with it, but they couldn't get it to fall. The Bulls leading by eight. Pippen with the bucket. Pippen's got 13. Then another gap in the defense found right there. This is one of the worst defensive performances I have ever seen. Williams a screen on Kerr. Dinwiddie loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. 11 points in the game. Very well executed pick to give him all kinds of space to get that one off. Shot and game clock separated by five. It's hauled in by Pippen. And you got to like the defense inside, really protecting the rim. Challenging shots and making his presence felt around the rim, that's exactly what he can give you. Here's Dinwiddie. He's got 11. Williams a screen on curve. With one on the clock. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. It's Chicago, up 10. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. 
Welcome back, everyone.